2020 Rangers Draft Recap. Let's do it. Let's start off with some draft notes. The Rangers drafted six Canadians total in the 2020 NHL Draft. They haven't drafted that many Canadians since the 2005 Draft. And the Rangers have only drafted two goaltenders since the 2016 Draft. The Rangers won the Draft Lottery and jumped from 10th overall to 1st overall. They select Alexei Lafreniere. We know this kid is good. He has incredible IQ, amazing skill, and is a pure goal scorer. He'll actually be 19 on October 11th, so he'll be 19 years old coming into the National Hockey League. 114 goals, 183 assists, combined both of them for 297 points in 173 games over 3 seasons for the Ramoski Oceanic. 297 points in 2.5 seasons. What? I cannot wait to see this kid in red, white, and blue next season, and I will most likely be getting his jersey when they announce his number. I think it's going to be 22, but I'm leaning also towards 27. So we'll see what number he picks. The 19th pick rolls around, and it's Old Mike Calgary. Jeff Gordon gets on the phone and trades 22 and 72 for the 19th pick. The Rangers select the defenseman Braden Schneider. I love this move. It shows that you're eager to jump up and get a player that you want that you have high on your list. The right-handed defenseman plays for the Brandon Wheat Kings in the WHL. He is a huge guy and is getting bigger and stronger every season. And he loves using his upper body to knock forwards off of the puck. He is a shutdown defender and very capable in his own end. He's a very aggressive hitter, focuses on the upper body, and this season his offense took a huge jump. I was shocked when the Maple Leafs did not take him. Seems like he would have been a perfect fit there. I live streamed during the draft. I did a live stream reaction and I said to myself and the stream, I said I feel like the Rangers are going to take a defenseman at 22. I know they need a center, but I think they have other plans for a center. Braden Schneider, welcome to the New York Rangers. I think he'll be ready in about 3-4 to four years. Day 2 of the NHL draft rolls around. I'm on the computer. I don't have NHL network, so I was watching it on the computer. I'm laying in bed for one of the commercials. We come back to a commercial, and all of a sudden, Bill Daly announces that there has been a trade. And I don't even realize when I'm sitting in bed. They announce a trade, and I hear Leaz Anderson. I jump out of bed, come to the computer. The New York Rangers trade Leaz Anderson to the Los Angeles Kings for the 60th overall pick in the 2020 NHL draft. With that 60th overall pick, they select left winger William Cooley. The 6'3 left winger for the Windsor Spitfires had 42 points in 62 games last season. He is a big guy, and the Rangers are clearly going for big guys to bolster their lineup in the future. He said he plays a little Tom Wilson-esque, and in my opinion, I like that. The Rangers need that. Also, in an interview with Jamie Hirsch and EJ Raddick, they asked him a lot of Star Wars questions, and apparently he can answer every Star Wars question. At 92nd overall, the Rangers select Oliver Tarnstrom, a 6-foot center who was playing in the Junior 20 National over in Sweden. Don't know too much about him, but I do know he likes to play at a very high speed and plays the game very fast. 103rd overall, Dylan Garn, a goaltender. Why are the Rangers selecting goaltenders? This is why the Rangers never have goaltending problems. They select goalies in the draft and they find them. Yes, I know they need a center. They drafted a center before this goaltender pick. He's a solid goaltender with a lot of tournament experience. He's a goaltender for the Cap Blues Blazers, and he will be this upcoming season. And the Rangers move up again. They move from 196 and 206 to 127 in the draft with the San Jose Sharks. The center for the Barry Colts in the OHL put up 34 points in 28 games. And he's also a very defensive, reliable center. He likes getting into the dirty areas and winning those battles in his own end and skating the puck up the ice on his own. He is expected to play for the Barry Colts once again next season. 134th overall is Brett Berard, a left winger. 5'9", smaller guy, he had 34 points in 41 games for the under-18 U.S. national team. He'll play at Providence College this upcoming season whenever that gets on their way. He's a very crafty forward. He makes defenders bite and is very deceptive. And now, to my favorite player, aside from Lafreniere, drafted by the New York Rangers this draft, Matthew Rempe, a center. He'll be a center for the Seattle Thunderbirds in the WHL this upcoming season. He is 6'7". 
He is an inch shorter than Chara and seven foot on skates. This guy is a tank. The Rangers are clearly addressing size this draft, and I am loving it. He doesn't put up any flashy numbers, but the kid is pure strength. And he's a very good skater. Might not have the offensive skill, but he's an excellent skater. Guess who's also 6'7", the 197th overall pick, and their final pick by the New York Rangers, a goaltender from Sweden, Hugo Aulis. He is currently playing in the same league as Oliver Tarnstrom, the Junior 20 National in Sweden. Like I said, the Rangers are stocking up on goaltenders, and a 7th rounder from Sweden sounds familiar. This has been another episode of the Rangers offseason coverage. Leave a like if you enjoyed. If you want to see the whole offseason playlist, I'll leave a link in the description and also a end card right here. Guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for free agency.